even though it's hard, it's 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 possible and it's worth it. Misty Williams' baby girl is due in a couple weeks. She says baby Alexandra is the reason she stopped smoking. Whenever I got pregnant with this child, um, I it was it for me. I want to do things different, and that's what I did. I just put it down. But it wasn't easy. She'd been smoking cigarettes on and off since she was 12 years old. It was just really hard to cope with stress and everything going on with my children, and. Um, I picked back up and I felt really guilty because I quit for so many years. Nearly 21% of Kentucky women smoke during pregnancy, which is more than two and a half times the national rate. Smoking during pregnancy can lead to miscarriage, premature birth, a variety of birth defects, and even infant death. Research shows us that one of the most effective ways to reduce smoking is through raising tobacco taxes. In fact, pregnant women, along with kids, are particularly likely to quit or reduce their smoking when the price goes up. The Coalition for a Smoke-Free Tomorrow says raising the tax on cigarettes will mean nearly 6,000 fewer smoking-affected pregnancies and births over the next five years in the Commonwealth. Gianna Caserta, WLKY News.